Hey guys and welcome back to the Wolf Weekly Vlog. Today we're going to be continuing our series on espresso fundamentals. Today we're going to be doing the methodology for pulling shots, part A. So really focusing on dosing and distribution. When we're on bar, there are three things which we really want to achieve. The first is quality, also consistency and speed. And we've found that this methodology is the most efficient way of achieving those things. Uh, it is all about muscle memory, so the first few times you try this process it may feel a little bit awkward, but after a while it just flows and you don't even notice you're doing it. So the first thing we're going to do is take out our handle, then immediately purge while you're here. So purging after you remove the portafilter as opposed to before you put it in. Next, quickly wipe down the drip tray so you don't get any espresso on the base of your cups. After that we're going to give the basket a good clean and dry and it should be absolutely spotless with no old coffee or moisture. Next, we're going to dose into the basket. Now, if you've got a particularly high amount of coffee, which can happen, especially with grinders like the Mythos, where it's a fluffy cloud of joy, just one controlled tap to settle it. And that'll make dosing and just tamping a little bit easier. Now you'll notice when we take the handle out that some grinders will uh, distribute more coffee on one side than the other. What would, what would happen if we were to tamp straight down would be that we'd have an area of greater density and an area of lesser density. The water coming down at pressure is going to try and find the path of least resistance. It'll channel through here and drip through here. So you're over extracting parts of the coffee bed and under extracting others what we call channeling and it presents as coffee dripping out of one side before the other. So to avoid this what we do is called distribution and there are a few different methods of doing it, uh, whatever you feel comfortable doing and whatever is most efficient for you. Personally I groom so I take my finger and I move it around. There are other methods for example tapping is quite effective, just a tap and a tap and that settles it very nicely. Alrighty, so what we're going to do next week is look at tamping and the remainder of the shot. I'll see you then.